What is going on you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch and it's great to have you back. Now a few months ago I showed off this bad boy which is the M5 Stack Fire by M5 Stack. Now this guy is running Evil M5 by the other one. This was such a cool project and I really fell in love with the M5 Stack and all of the M5 products that I've seen. Now the way I see it, M5 Stack is kind of like Malowin from Borderlands. Combat is an art. Maliwan weapons are the paint. Those guys make really, really nice stuff and it's super easy to use. Now, a few months ago, I picked up this guy. Now, this is the Card Pewter by M5 Stack. This thing is super cool and it runs off an ESP32 S3. It's got a full keyboard, a screen, speakers, and more. I love this little guy. Now, the problem was when I first got this, there was really nothing to do with this. It just had some demo software on it and there wasn't that many projects out already. So I was patient and I waited and a few days ago, I checked back and all I can say is, Wow! There's a ton of really cool stuff for this platform now, and it's really, really easy to install. Even when I was researching this video, I was having so much fun installing apps and playing around with them. I spent hours and hours just messing around. Oh yeah, did I mention? This thing only costs $30 American. That's like completely insane. All right, let's quit messing around. I'm so psyched to show you how this thing works. Let's go. All right, so let's first go over some of the specs. This little guy over here is an ESP32 S3. It's pretty much the brains of the operation. Then over here, we have a 1.14 inch TFT screen. Obviously, it's got a 56 key keyboard as well. Believe it or not, this thing has a microphone and a speaker. Micro ST slot for easy expansion. And the 1400 milliamp hour battery gives it great longevity. And of course, just like almost everything from M5 Stack, it has these awesome old Lego Technics connection points. You can put them together, you can do all all sorts of cool stuff. So let's move over to the top down camera and take a closer look. All right, so here he is. Uh, we can switch it on with a little switch up there. Eh, I get it? I got it. Boom. Plays a little song as it opens and you can press any button. We can get into our menu here. This is just kind of a demo program and it's got a few things going on. You have a scan app, a radio app, a clock. You can use the arrow keys to go back and forth, enter. It's just a normal keyboard, which is really cool. Record, there's ESP chat. Now I haven't actually tried to use this, but I assume it works. It's got IR remote. It's got all sorts of good stuff. Keyboard, but let's see. One of the things I was messing around with for a while was actually this radio app. So let's actually log into it and we can check it out. So yeah, this is the web radio app and I turned off my noise gate and my compressor. Maybe we can hear it. Let me turn it all the way up. I have no idea what's going on because I don't understand the language, but it's pretty fun. And you can switch back and forth between channels. Hey, this one's in English too, but it's pretty cool. I just get tied up in all these things. There's so many cool things you can do. All right, so this is the stock firmware that comes with it. It's really just a demo to kind of show how things work. However, we can actually install custom firmwares and that's where this thing gets really cool. So let's pop on down to the desktop and I'll show you how. All right, so here we are on the desktop. All we're gonna do is gonna open up Chrome and we're gonna go to M5 Stacks download area. All you have to do is actually search for M5 Stack Flasher. It'll take you right to the page so you don't have to mess around too much, but here we are. I'm gonna be using Windows. I want the firmware burning tool which is this guy right here. Click the download button and we should be off to the races. We're gonna save it to our desktop. All right, we can minimize this and just gonna extract this folder right to the desktop as well. And that's pretty much it. This thing actually runs itself. It doesn't install an installer. So again, even easier and we're done. Open up the M5 burner executable file. And yeah, it might yell at you, whatever, this happens all the time. We know we're good, you can trust me. I'm just some guy on the internet. And here we are. Now this app is super, super cool. And I'm actually gonna get into a little bit more of it later on because you can flash anything you want from all of their different devices. This is where when I say like, these guys have their stuff together, this is what I mean. It's so easy to do, it's so plug and play. Absolutely love M5 Stack. By the way, if anybody from M5 Stack is watching and you wanna donate some stuff to the channel, um, you know, hit me up at the at talkingsasquatch.com so we can make some more content. But you know what else is super easy is this segment way to today's sponsor. 
PCBWay. PCBWay knows all about how to make things easier than ever. PCBWay is basically the easy button when it comes to 3D printing, PCB design, creation, CNC, and more. They will literally help you every single step of the way to make sure that any idea, any project you have will come to fruition. Like the idea of having different modules for your project. Well, guess what? PCBWay has an entire own module store. I've literally spent so much time just scrolling through the module store, getting more and more ideas for my next projects. So no matter what your project is, chances are PCBWay's got a way to help you make it easier than ever. So make sure to go down to PCBWay.com and check them out. As always, thank you so much PCBWay for your continued support. Let's get back at it. Now, when I found out that M5 had its own flashing software, I was so psyched. I was expecting to have to use Arduino IDE, and if you've ever watched my videos before when I try to use it, I mentioned that I totally hate it. So M5's made it so it literally can't be easier. We're gonna scroll down to Card Pewter, and then you can see all of the cool software they have. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the USB-C cable to my Card Pewter, and we'll get going here. As soon as I plug it in, it says, found new device on COM port eight. Make sure that you know which COM port your Card Pewter is before you start flashing stuff. In my case, I do have other ESP32 devices plugged into my system, and I have flashed them with the wrong firmware before, and it's not fun, so I don't recommend it. So yeah, let's start just looking through some stuff here and see what's going on. So first of all, we have Card Boy. Actually, I tried to use this earlier, and it kind of didn't work super well, but what I did find that was working was, uh, where are we at down here? If we scroll down, there is a, I'm going to kind of jump around here a little bit, scrolling, scrolling. The first thing I want to show off is Game Boy for the card pewter. So let me actually pull up the top down camera as well, and I can show you how this works real time. Okay, so now you can see we're plugged in right there. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and click the download button. All right. And then just click on burn, continue unofficial firmware. There's only really one official firmware for these things. So everything's unofficial. Don't let that bother you. We know we're on COM port eight, the baud rate at what is that? 150,000, something like that. That's perfect. Just leave it as it is. Hit start. You can see the screen immediately goes blank as it's flashing. So it's just waiting for burning and eventually it's gonna say flash or whatever, but just let it do its thing. It'll get there. Hey, burn successful. You can see something already popped up on the screen. We'll just click here to return. All right, so now it's a Game Boy emulator. It looks like select is L, so we'll press L. And here we go, we got Super Mario Land, super cool. If I leave it for a second, it'll show the demo, which is kind of fun, uh, I believe. Okay, press escape. You can see the demo playing. So is it the most playable thing in the world? No, it's a very small screen, but it's a cool proof of concept. All right, here's another really cool one that I was playing with, which was called Pal Nagachi. So let's install all this guy we're gonna hit download just like before hit burn continue make sure com 8 still selected and start burn successful oh yeah this guy's super cool but you know what he actually does is this makes this guy a friend of a ponigashi so pull over my ponigashi right here and yeah let's see if we're gonna be friends all right slightly zoomed out and we're about to boot up here Alrighty, cool so we're just now starting up and uh yeah let's take a look and see what happens Hey, there we go, Pal Nagachi just showed up. So psyched, that's the coolest thing ever. It's not often you get to see other Ponigashis on your Ponigashi, so it's really cool that you can emulate it with the card pewter, super cool. Let's see what else we got. Actually, remember when I was talking about the Evil M5 project by the other one? Well, it's ported over here too. I believe if I scroll up long enough, here we go, Evil Card Pewter, let's give that one a run. Hey, this looks familiar, doesn't it? Here is Evil Card Pewter by the other one, super cool. Now, I I don't need to, you know, re-show you this project. Hey, Editing Sasquatch here. Uh, a couple of notes real quick. In order to control Evil Card Pewter, you're gonna use the Go button. A short press is gonna change the option. A long press will select it and go into the menu. You know, just a quick thing. Also, the other one added in the ability to grab handshakes, that EAPOL data we talked about when we were doing the Hash Monster. So effectively, Evil Card Pewter can do everything Hash Monster can. So it's really cool. Let's move on, see what else we got. M5 3D logo. Again, there's just so many cool things you can play around with. So let's burn this and see what this does. Two very boring minutes later. Hey, look at that. So now we've got this little M5 logo that moves around. I believe if you press some buttons, yeah, you can make it move rotate other stuff it's just a cool little demo 
Again, this is why I lost so much time playing around with this stuff. I was literally just scrolling through here being like, oh, what does this do? What does this do? All right, so this is actually the project that I've been wanting to show off with this. So there was originally a tool called Nemo created for the card pewter and other M5 projects. It had TV be gone, Wi-Fi spam, scanning, Bluetooth stuff, but there's actually a little bit of an updated fork if we scroll down here. Here it is, it's Bruce for card pewter. So let's go ahead and download and burn Bruce. Continue, start. Hey, look at that, we got the shark in here. So the idea was that Nemo was a cute little fish. Bruce, Bruce is a mean old shark. And we'll see why in just a second. If we press a key, you can see now we have all these new tools. So TV be gone, you can check out the region so you can turn off TVs and stuff. Let's go back, press escape. Now we have Bluetooth, so we can actually go ahead and remember all those cool BLE spams? Well, they're all in here too. We have Apple Juice, Android Spam, you have Bluetooth Maelstrom. Basically, these are all really similar to the Bluetooth attacks that are on the Flipper Zero, but on the $30 card computer. We can go ahead and run some Wi-Fi attacks as well. So you can scan Wi-Fi, you can just raw sniff, Evil Portal, you have SSH and Telnet. There's so many cool things in here. You can go to Bad USB. And then, yeah, there's some scripts in here and you can send the default one. Wait, what? Aw, oh, mother Well, that was rude and unexpected, but fun. But yeah, that just runs Ducky script, just like bad USB stuff does. Very, very, very cool, very fun. Keyboard, microphone. You actually have open haystack. You can make this thing into an air tag, just like we could on the Flipper Zero. There's so much cool stuff in this app. Now, those are just some of the apps that you can get for the card pewter. But when I was messing around too, I actually realized I've never looked at this part with the core. So this is the M5 stack fire. So you have all sorts of great stuff in here. You scroll down, there's tons and tons and tons and tons of projects. I'm going to spend so much time just installing all these different firmwares to all my different M5 stack products. It's the coolest thing ever. I absolutely love this setup. So yeah, that's really just a few really cool things you can do with the M5 card pewter. Now, I really only just scratched the surface on this thing. There's a ton more cool stuff you can do with it. Keep in mind, this thing has a ton of I.O. You can hook it up to almost anything. And M5 Stack has a huge store of modules. Like, I mean a huge store. They have a module for pretty much anything. I mean, you can turn this guy into a little self-balancing with a gyroscope two-wheel drive robot. It's way cool. So what do you think of the card pewter by M5 Stack? Is it worth the 30 bucks? I mean, I think it is. Hell, I think I spent that much the last time I went to Subway. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, it helped me out a ton. You guys are absolute legends. We'll catch you next time.